welcome and welcome back to all that the wind has brought here to another episode of Roots of Pacha, where today we are got to cut down some bee houses and we have to catch the starry night mare. It's also Saturday, so the first thing we're going to do is do some fishing. We are going to run up to the caves and get some fishing done. Very first thing. Um, are we going to find what we're looking for? Uh, that's debatable, but we're going to try. So, our lovely items for fish do need to go, or for wood do need to go away. And we need... Our Electrum Bracelet of Quietude, which I believe is currently held by Vuok. So we actually need to go and speak to him very quickly. And hopefully he'll be awake. So let's run up to his room and see if he's up. He is not. Vuok, no. Okay. That's okay. We'll just go and do our fishing. Because it's very important that we go and we work on that today. Should have gotten the bracelet back from him yesterday when we could. But that's okay. And we have a bunch of sea kale that needs to be harvested today as well. As pomegranates. But. We're going to start by going up to. Pacha's pair of rocks. And we have a fish that we need to go looking for. So that is our first task of the day. Don't really care about the copper, but we'll take it. We're gonna run into here. And then we're gonna run down here. And we are looking for a fish called a yark which will be a five-tier fish. That's a fast one. That's a five-tier. is going to be important for us to get. I'm hoping this is the right one. Looks like. Should be. And we have ourselves our first yark. So looking at the journal this is in the land on the morning in any season it's a five tier fish and you can get these five tier fish more easily in this cave I believe at least that's what I've been told uh, is that the rare fish are easier to find in the cave also very cliche makes sense And as you guys know, fish are the only thing we've looked up. But go fishing in the cave in the morning time for that guy. <laughs> On days that it is the land. So Saturday and Monday. But that's that dealt with. A uh, fairly nice and expensive fish. That we're actually going to smoke and sell. Not really worth it for us to pickle it. But we will smoke it. There's the rest of our garbanzo patties for the day. And we will grab out some chilies. Why? Because we have a lot of them. Why else? 
let's get rid of these things. We go through 16 a day. I mean, that's something. It's definitely not perfect, but at least it's something. Okay. There's 29 more. And there is four amaranth. Okay, off to deal with the animals. Um, in fact, we're gonna collect one thing to correct one more mistake. Um, and that is a singular golden pomegranate here. Okay, that means the one I need to deal with is you. Perfect, he's ready to breed now. <clears throat> so we should be able to get that breeding on its way. And that's everyone out of there. Toothpaste chicken, ostrich. The animals I'm most concerned about. That's a lot of sea kale. That's a lot of sea kale. It's okay. We also need more wood, so there's that. But we got our fish, and that's what really matters. We've got some almonds and some pomegranates to collect today. This guanaco here is the Gen 3, which I believe our Gen 4 is on its way. But let's do a double check on that. Yeah, baby girl. So you can actually be released. Have fun. And then we're into this room here. And that baby needs some affection. Okay. And that deals with all of that. So then it's pomegranates. And almonds. It's okay, Kara. That construction uh, that I mentioned in a previous episode is still occurring and it is still freaking her out. Okay. So we'll keep a hold of those. And we'll gather up the remainder of the pomegranates here. We'll throw, I don't know, some stuff in here for the moment, just so that we have the space for all the almonds.
because I need us to be fairly confident with that. Perfect. We're holding on to just a few pomegranates and just a few almonds to give to people. I missed one. How did I miss one? Oh, I'm so mad at myself for that. Okay. Now, it is a Saturday. I believe everyone is taken care of for the week. Just as we scroll through real quick. Yeah, other than four there. Everyone's taken care of. So that's good. Um, gel rod is done though. So what we're going to do is we are going to collect some sea kale here. And put down some beehives. And then we're going to go and get some of those pacha flowers because it's about time that we get married so let's go ahead and take care of that i'll be right back all right and we are back and uh i lied we do need to talk to grandpa um because we we need more sea kale what was i thinking oh we'll have enough sea kale it'll be fine we're down to 67 again and there's still another batch of sea kale to plant before the end of the season remember never say never you know what keeps me young laughing absolutely if i'm not careful i might start getting younger Okay. So I do know that we need to go and deal with the horse. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten. We just need to go and actually do that. Let's throw the sea kale in here. If we have time, we will come back and we will put... Uh, everything else in place. Now we can't trade out what bracelet we're wearing right now. And that's okay. We'll deal with that tomorrow. But we are going to go to the horse totem. We're going to deal with the horse. Then we're going to go to Cloud's Garden. And we're going to deal with the Pacha flowers. And then we'll go home and we'll see if we have time for the bees hive beehives. Okay, the other horse should be summertime. Because I was told that one of the seasons will have two varieties. And the other season, the other two seasons will have the third variety. So we caught two horses this spring, which means the other horse must be in the summertime. So we are good. Now, Cloud's Garden. Let's go get our pots and flowers. which should be all the way over here. At least I think they are. Oh. Go away, Brock. Nobody needs your help there. Thank you. Two, three, four, five, six. And I need what? Ten? I need ten. And more fiber. Of course. Of course I need more fiber. That that makes sense. That's fine. That looks kind of sus, but it's not. Okay. You know what else looked sus though? This looks really sus. Hmm. 
Nope. Okay. Not sus. I thought it was. My bad. Somebody has told me that I'm still missing a secret here in the caves. Now I'm suspicious of everything. It can't be this. I can't land here. But what we can do is we can go to the forest entrance. Because I don't need any more flint right now. And we can run up here. Because we do need more gemstones. And I can't trade out to our rings for wood gathering right now. But I can get mushrooms. And I will get mushrooms. There we go. Lots of mushrooms for lots of more mushroom tarts for even more wood gathering. And then ore it is. Let's get it. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. 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 I don't even care. Just no. Uh, that's a no, too. If it needs to be a no, it's a no. We need way too much ore for me to care about things like that. A single piece of wood has no importance to me when compared to all of this ore. I know sapphire is not the most important gem in here. I'm aware of that. Oh no, see, we will be getting the sardius as well. Um, this copper can go. Let's put this up here. And... Uh, that's not quite it. That's okay. It was close. We almost did it perfect. Alright, and that's all we needed out of there. So what all did we get today? We got some barrel. We got some sardius. We got some sapphires, and some ore, and some stone. Not much stone, but a little stone. That'll do for now. That'll do for now. We're not going to make it home to put the beehives down, and that's okay. But we have more beehives to place. All over the place. We have so many beehives to put down. But we are up to 1,222,000 or 223,000 clan prosperity, and we contributed 3,000 to that today. It's going to bring us up to 65k, and we will awaken to another day with a lot more fun. I totally forgot to give Grob something. I have an idea for Grob too. Like father, like son. Let's see if he likes poop. Let's throw poop at Grub. Right? He can mask that smell. He's fine. Let's throw some poop at Grub starting next week. That should be really good for us. Um, and we now have the Starry Night Horse. Very, very exciting. Lots of good things to start coming out of that. Um, our Toothpaste Chicken is not quite there yet, but we're getting there. And we're going to be able to start breeding some really good things. <clears throat> Our ostrich should be ready fairly soon. Our bison is ready. We do need to cure this ostrich of its cold as well. This legendary ostrich, though, is also ready. So we'll breed that one more likely. Purple chicken is ready. So as soon as the baby chicken is ready, the purple chicken is ready. And lots and lots of things will be happening very, very soon. We are halfway to being ready to marry our Prince Charming, Mr. Frere, the lovely fisherman. 
and we're gonna start working on jewelry again very soon. So, wood gathering, ore gathering, jewelry making, we're gonna get it all taken care of so that hopefully, come fall, we will have completed everything that needs to be completed in this game, except fishing knowledge, which we've all agreed upon is, is not happening. So, other than that, we'll have everything. I mean, even our pomegranates are getting there, olives are getting there, and so our mangoes. All of these crops are really coming along. So lots and lots of good things to come, but it's going to have to wait. For the saving of the game and the ending of the day, we have come to the end of this episode. So if you like what you see, please feel free to hit that thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more, consider subscribing. But until next time, may the wind bring you on another journey. And don't forget to dance.